our computer systems do not reflect our humanity. Let's be very clear about this. When I use a computer system, it's all about me and what I want. So I want to be able to do online banking and I want to work and I want to do it all from one device. Today, IT has to say no. It has to say no to things that would naturally empower users to be more productive. So all of the effort is focused on identifying new forms of bad guys and then distributing a way for the detector to identify them as they walk in the door. That isn't the problem. This is a problem of trust, trustworthiness. Can you trust the device? There's always another attack and the user is the vector for the attack. And so if you could build computer systems that were inherently trustworthy, that naturally shed attacks and were uncompromisable, you wouldn't have any of these needs for complex systems which are burdensome on users and which encumber our productivity. Micro virtualization is the application of hardware virtualization at an extremely granular level. And what it's going to do is it's going to isolate tasks from each other into mutually distrustful entities. And these tasks will be completely unaware of each other and their resources. And it will be unaware of resources in the operating system. Let's be clear, once I have divided up a system into a bunch of concurrent tasks, each of which is hardware isolated from each other, the user can do whatever they are going to do, and I ought not to care. That is, a property of the trustworthy system is it is robust even in the face of the user making terrible mistakes, which is nothing more than opening an email or browsing to a bad website. So IT doesn't have to worry about whether the PC is attached to the physical network. IT gets to say yes to new work styles, people working from home, people being mobile, and taking the enterprise boundary with them. Because suddenly the enterprise is no longer vulnerable. The Bromium vision is that we can build you a better world. It starts here, and it's simple. And so one thing to think about is what your organization would be like if you could do that, if you could trust devices. Imagine if you could empower users and be much more efficient in terms of the way that you deliver systems to people. So our goal is to enable IT to be the people who say yes. We want IT to say yes safely and securely.